Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the farm. It is the first day of winter, but it's still green out. It's 36 degrees, still looking pretty nice. We have a lot of work to get done. We have a lot of hay to get mowed and bailed before winter fully sets in here. I know we're pretty late, but we really need to get this going. So we're bringing the baler up here to Austin's to get this, what we mowed the other day, a while ago, what we mowed a while ago, bailed. Some of it is gone. It's It's been blown away in the wind, but uh, we're going to do our best. Looks like Austin's already here. We'll pull up and, and chat with him before we get started. Hey, man. Hey, what's up? Uh, nothing much. Cool. I just came up here to uh, to get this stuff bailed that we mowed like ages ago. <laughs> yep, it needs to be done in the worst way, but everything's... Uh, I ran a tether over it, and it's all raked, so it's all good to go. Awesome. I um, I also might try to get to mowing some other stuff today, because we're, we're in the early winter now, and we, we're running out of time. Our cattle need a lot of stuff, so we yeah, got to get going yeah, on for it. Sure. Uh, I, I got a new truck, actually. Oh, really? Uh, I'm, I'm going to show it to you here. All right. I, I got it from Stevio, and uh, he has also, he has an army truck that has a, basically a dump bed on it. So okay. we can use that for silage if we want to buy it. So, oh, that'd be cool. Yeah. Oh, but neat. yeah, this is it. Old International, huh? Mm-hmm. Yep. Sweet. It's got all the hookups on the back uh, if you want to put a trailer on it. Awesome. This thing's really clean. Yeah, so it'll be our new hay hauler. Dang, all right. What um, yep. What's the interior like? Jump in it. Oh, wow. This is really, actually, really well done. Yep, it's got brand nice. new tires and everything on it. Awesome. How much does this set you back? 15K. Oh, that's not bad. Yep. It's not bad it's at not all. It's not bad at all. All right, well, cool. Right. I, uh, yeah. I'm going to get going on that, and uh, then we'll get to stacking them up here whenever you get back, and... Yeah, we'll I will there. be back as soon as I can, and uh, we'll grab the 4020 out of there and start stacking. All right, sounds like a game plan. All right. All right, see you in a bit. See ya. All right, we're going to run back over here to the uh, to the John Deere with the baler here, R8300 with the 568, and we're going to get to bail in that. It looks like it's ready to go. Now, it has withered away a little bit, unfortunately, but what can you do about it? We're <laughs> we fell behind, but we're done with harvest. We're done with soybean harvest. Everything's been harvested. So we're looking pretty good on that. Yeah, this is definitely... Oof. This is not looking good. We need to get some more mode and ready to go. And actually get it bailed in time. That's the key. But let's uh, let's make sure that this is dropped down. Let's go ahead and turn on the baler. Belts are running all fine. We did some pre-maintenance before we ran up here anyways. Checked all the belt tensions, grease, certs, and things like that. So we should be good to go and bail this all right we're rolling now it looks like this first bail is going to be a grass bail unfortunately and i would really hate to do that but i had a little bit of i had like 0.1 of grass in the baler so it's just kind of how it does it and i'd hate to waste all of this hay in being grass but not much you can do about it it's gonna be grass i couldn't unload it or anything so we'll just have to deal with it as it is now we also need to pick up more cattle as well that's uh something that we need to get done and get going but all in good time for now we're gonna be focused on getting this all bailed this is definitely we're not gonna get a whole lot of bales off of this one i would like to uh i don't know i don't know what we're gonna bail the other fields in we're gonna bail the co-op's grass where the co-op is because there's a lot of open space there for and a lot of grass and then we're going to bail at the uh, actual ranch that we bought we're going to bail a uh, field up that's a pasture that's out there to turn out pasture pasture and uh i don't really foresee us using it we're going to be starting to put the cattle in the barns because winter will be coming here winter is coming it's already winter actually so i don't think we'll need that so we're just going to cut it so we can bail it and actually get some use out of it instead of instead of uh, they just going to waste this winter. But soybean harvest went really well. Uh, I don't know how much money we got exactly, but you can see we're looking pretty good on money right now. Now oh, I gotta say, 95% of that money, or I don't know the actual percentage, but 
Like, 90% of that doesn't belong to me. It belongs to the co-op, the Farmers Cooperative. Just so, uh, just so you guys know, I don't have $1.1 million on, on our farm. It, <laughs> the well majority of that belongs to the co-op. So that's why you always see my farm having a lot of money. It's because the co-op is built under the same account. That's all. That's the only reason that happens. We don't even have one bale yet. We've done two full headlands. This says this sucks. I mean, I know this is a big baler, but this really sucks. Now, this this tractor actually is not running too bad right now. Uh, but you're not supposed to use this series tractor for baling. It's really not what it's built for. I mean, it handles it. It's got the power and everything. It's just its clutch its clutch system doesn't really like it when you stop and go, stop and go. But hopefully, I think it'll work out fine. It, it should be all right. We recently got the transmission redone on it anyways. And I can see the paint's already chipping on this thing. And, like, we've barely used it. It's, I'm kind of upset about that, to be honest with you. It must have, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what the deal is with that. But, oh, well, we'll repaint it some point in time. The fenders are even chipping. It's weird. It's a little strange, but... It's all fine. I don't have a monitor in here for my baler. I wish I did. That would be really nice. So we're just using... We're watching the bail gauge on the baler there. Now on balers, um... These ones aren't modeled with it, but there's actually like a... A kick bar symbol and stuff. Like there's gauges on there that are very useful to have. And we don't have them on here. I really want to get a Vermeer baler, but I don't... There's not any out right now. And uh, I know Buck is wanting to get one made or work on one, but I don't think he's got started on that project yet, unfortunately. But whenever he does happen to do that, if it ever happens, I definitely want to get a Vermeer baler, because that's what we use in real life. Vermeer is actually uh, made in Iowa. Their, uh, their corporate office is in Pella, Iowa, which is really cool. I actually applied to work there when I was looking for my job. They were looking for a uh, video editor. Or a videographer, and I applied, but they didn't want me, I guess. So it's whatever, Vermeer. I'll still stand by your product, but you could have hired me, man. Could have gave me all that money. I could have I could have been making videos about the Vermeer Bailers. That would have been so cool. Also, a John Deere dealership I applied at to be their videographer, and they didn't want me either. It's honestly very disappointing, but I enjoy where I work now, and I uh, guess I can't really complain about it. We're almost full here. We've almost got a full bail, but it took this entire field. I'm going to try and just clean up these little scraps and see. We're not going to get it full with these scraps, but might as well clean them up a little bit. You know what I mean? Okay, that's pretty much all we need. If we let this stay, thing stay in the baler too long, it's going to get extra tight and it's going to get real annoying. So we're going to move on over to this section here. It's a little bit of a tight fence way there. He needs to put an actual gate there. That'd be kind of cool. Is this horse? Oh yeah, there's, there's, what's that horse's name? Gunner? Gunner's doing alright? Is in the barn right now? Our cattle need mucked out. And we're about full. Let's just slowly roll. There's a hundred right there. We'll back up. Oh! It, it unloaded the, I didn't tell it to, what? Okay, I don't know what that's about. I guess I have it set to auto. I guess I have my baler on auto mode. So it's on auto wrap and auto dump, I guess. I didn't realize I had it set on that, but that's fine. We'll see how many bales we get off of this. Big round bales, I don't see us getting too many. This isn't a very large grass section here, so we'll find out momentarily. I just realized I never went and picked up the international that I bought from Buck. I need to go do that at some point here. All right, dropping the other bale. Perfect, we got two bales down. Ahoo! Holy she! Train's going by, that's neat. It's a long train. All right, I think we're unloading our fourth bale, fifth bale? Somewhere around there. I haven't really been keeping track. We'll know when we get them stacked up on the, uh, on the flatbed how many we got off this field here. I really wish these Baylor mods would get the deal back in, like, 15, I remember. Back in FS15, there was a deal where 
Baylor's, like, some of them you would have to refill their net wrap and stuff. Like, that was so cool. Why is that not a thing anymore? I wish that it was. I wish we could still refill the Baylor's with net wrap. Now, that was a mod. It was a mod that did that. But if anyone happens to have any idea of what it would take to do that again, that would be really, really cool. Just, just my two cents on the subject. You can see the bale forming in there. That's actually kind of neat. Oh, there goes another train the other way. Jeez. Those things go fast through here, too. This must be a full speed zone. Cool thing about this tractor is you get all these gauges here. On the actual column, you see your, uh, you can see your RPM and your speed, which is really cool, which is like it is in real life. And then over here, now this isn't really how it is in real life, but I like how they did it. You got your fuel and your cruise speed and uh, the time of day. You have a clock there, so that's actually really cool. I mean, it is sort of like that, but it's not an actual digital display. That's the only real difference. Luckily, this is one of the flattest pieces of land I've ever seen in my life, so we don't really have to worry about where we're dropping off the bales. They're not going to roll anywhere around here. This is, like, crazy flat. We can make this a baseball field, actually. It's so flat. It's actually... Actually, you know what? It's not as flat as I thought. It's got some hill to it. Well, we're still making some progress here. Uh, what do you guys think of that Lone Oak series that we got going on? Did you enjoy that video that came out uh, on Monday of Lone Oaks? It was it's, it was a lot of fun to do. It's going to be a fun series. It's going to be a little bit different single-player series as compared to these multiplayer videos. I do enjoy these multiplayer roleplay videos a lot, though. To me, Farming Sim is so much more fun when you have a group of people to do it with and and interact with and hang out with. It's just a lot more fun than, you know, being in a world alone. You're in a world with other people. It, there's just more interaction. It's just more interesting, in my opinion. But I still enjoy the Lone Oak series. I look forward to doing it. Hopefully you guys are looking forward to it as well. And uh, we're making progress on the field here. Austin's not back quite yet. I'm assuming he's going to be back within the next 30 minutes. I don't know, though. I guess we'll find out, but if he's not back by the time I'm done with this, I very well might just go and uh, and start mowing some other pieces of grass instead, but we'll see what happens. Oh, while we're at it, everyone say hi to Gilbert. Gilbert is one of the editors of, for the channel now. He's the one editing this video. One, two, three. Hi, Gilbert. <laughs> hi, how are you? What's the meaning of this? I took your advice. From now on, I'm... Gilbert. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna laugh if he, like, puts text on the screen where he's like, Hi, or he's gonna tell me, like, shut up or something. It'll be great. I'm excited. Excited to see what he does. You're welcome. With that being said, would you guys like to see just a more funny series of something? Maybe not even Farming Sim, just, just some more different content. Some more... I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. Just... Let, just just laid back funny stuff you know what I mean because I, I miss I miss doing stuff like that it is a lot of fun to record those videos so let me know what you guys want to see and uh, let me know if you'd like to watch some stuff like that but if not I, I get it I get it farming sim is great I, I will I agree with you on that one but if you want to see some series of just videos of something or whatever I don't know what just let me know just some comedic stuff. Let me know down in the comments below. All right, final windrow here to get bailed up. I don't think we're going to get this one bale finished. I'm going to be kind of kind of upset about that. We're definitely not going to get this bale finished. Oh, man. Oh, well. Oh, well. We'll finish that bale in the next one. It's not supposed to sit in the chamber like that, though. Can I unload it early? Let's find out. I can. We're going to unload that one early. It's just going to be a smaller bale. That's all. But... There we go. We got this area all bailed. Let's shut down that baler so it's not running now. How many do we got off here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight bales off of this piece? That's actually not bad at all. That's not bad at all. Oop. That's not bad. I, um, I, I'm surprised. I didn't think we'd get near that many. But I think we're gonna try and give Austin a call maybe and see where he's at. Because if he's gonna be a minute, I might go and start mowing some stuff with a swather so we can get that out in the sun and drying since uh, we're going to start falling behind here if we're not careful. 
Okay, so I couldn't get a hold of Austin. I think what I might do is detach the baler here, hook up to that mower, and run down to the co-op and start mowing that stuff. I wanted to use the swather, but we're so close to the mower right here, and we're so close to the co-op that it's just going to be faster for me to take the 8300 with this uh, new Holland mower down there. So we're going to do that real quick. I'm sure we'll get a call from Austin. He's going to be like, where'd you go? And I'm going to have to explain it to him. Also, this is my PJ trailer here. And that's my mower and my rake. We have a lot of stuff sitting up here we need to get taken back down to my place. Uh, maybe we'll move that stuff today, too. I doubt it. I, I doubt it. But we'll see what happens here. We'll, we'll get connected up to this uh, mower. And we're going to head down the road and start mowing somewhere else. Because we need to get some progress made. And I don't want to just be sitting around here all day, so... Couldn't get a hold of him on the phone. Maybe he'll give me a call when he gets back up here and sees that I'm not here. Oh. Well, speak of the devil. There they are. Interesting. Well, I guess I should have just waited ten more seconds. Oh, well. Alright, we're pulling up to the co-op here. And I gotta decide how I wanna mow this. I think I'll just start right here at the road. Do I wanna mow along the roadway too? Do I mow that? Hmm, no, I think I'm gonna mow on the inside of the poles. Let's unfold this thing. Let's actually swap this to the other side. Now this modded mower, it, as you can see, it's not the most legit. Ignore that. <laughs> All right, let's drop it down. Turn it on, and we'll get to mowing this. We gotta get some good bales off of this field here, so we'll get going. I think we'll get, I don't know, if we got eight bales off that other one, that, was, that wasn't even full hay windrows. I think this is gonna be a good, good yield right here, so we'll see how it goes. We're mowing right up around our property line here. That over there is not our property. That's someone else's. I think it belongs to the other co-op or maybe the neighbor, like that house right back there. Not really sure who it belongs to, but uh, we, we want to make sure we don't mow their grass because I don't think it'd be a big deal, but you never know. Sometimes the smallest things can make people mad. But we're going to mow this one with this, uh, this, this rig here, and then we're going to go and mow the... Uh, we're going to mow the other field actually down by our cattle ranch with the swath that we bought because I want to give that thing a try. All right. That's not my land right over there, so we're going to cut it this way. Now, here's where we just dump a bunch of extra stuff. Now, I'm pretty sure the EPA would be very upset about this. So no one, no one tell the EPA that we have all that dumped there, but we're going to try and... Can this tractor handle that hill? Ooh, this is a little sketchy. Little sketchy, Jake. Don't tip. I should not have done it this way. We're going to drag the blades along that. That's okay. It's handling it just fine. Come on, tractor. Now turn the other way. I should have just turned sooner. I don't know why I tried to squeeze all that into there. All right. There we go. Good enough. It'll all get windrowed anyways. I don't even want... Do I even want to go over here? I really shouldn't. I should just have... Buck come out here and mow all this with his lawn care service. But we'll do it. Get as many bales as we can here. This AD300 doesn't have a very tight turn radius, that's for sure. It's a long tractor. It's got a long frame to it. I actually think the swather might have been easier to operate through here, but oh well. We're already here with this one. I'm not going to go pick up the swather unless I get, <laughs> unless I get upset with this thing. I suppose. I'm hoping this will all dry out in time. Now, I just realized it's supposed to rain in the forecast. And you're not... <laughs> we don't want to mow hay before it rains. That's not good. So, I might not finish this field. I don't know. We'll see. All right. Well, true to, true to how it always goes down. You mow hay and it rains. Always. Always. You mow hay and it rains. It's just... How it, it's how the nature of things work. So we're, we're done mowing for now. I'm going to give, I'm going to go up and uh, 
and chat with Austin and uh, see if he needs my help here. Oh, there goes Buck, actually, in his pickup. All right, well, let's get over there to Austin's place and see how he's how he's doing. Hello? Hey, Jake. Uh, sorry again. Um, I was just also thinking about the cattle business. Uh-huh. So I can kind of throw my own piece of uh, help in here, because I'm fact that I'm kind of going to grass, because I have a couple of grassland as well. Mm-hmm. I was also possibly looking at throwing in forage harvesting, and I'd be your silage supplier. That would actually work out great, because we're going to need a lot. <laughs> if you uh, do some hay and silage and stuff, we'll definitely do a lot of business with you, because we're going to need a lot. All right. I'm going to look it up here, but I just wanted to know if that would possibly be in your interest if I was um, to do that, if you would actually uh, buy stuff from me. Oh, absolutely. We'd probably be uh, a very re a very often and reoccurring customer, I would imagine. So. <laughs> All right. Well, that, I'll look that up. Again, I'll keep you posted on it. All right. Sounds good. All right. Thanks, bud. Y'all, see ya. See ya. It's coming up on a... Coming up on a... Uh, it's actually a little past 11 here. But I'm already hungry. I want something to eat. Maybe I'll see if Austin wants to go into town and get something to eat. We should probably wait until noon. <sighs> I just want food now. I guess I could stop at that gas station there. Uh, no, it's not a Casey's. I'd rather stop at a Casey's. Oh, well. We'll pull up to Austin's place here and see how he's doing and see if he needs help with anything. All right, we're pulling into Austin's place. He's probably out back loading bales would be my guess. We're going to roll back there into the uh, hay field and see if we can't find him here. He's probably mad. He probably wanted me to load the bales. <laughs> he, I know he's not a fan of it. He's not a fan of doing bales. I guess we'll, uh, we'll see. I personally, I enjoy round bales more than I do square. I have an easier time with round bales. I know that's probably strange, but where's he at here? Oh, is he not out here? He's not out here. Okay. Let's stop up at the house and see if he's at the house then. I just assumed he'd be out here, but it is raining. I guess he... You can load bales in the rain. I don't know. We'll see. We'll find him. Pull up to his house here. I'll have to knock on the front door. Hopefully he's home. Oh boy, gotta go out into the rain. Oh, gotta turn off the flashers as the battery will die. Alright, here we go. Let's run to the door. Whew. Oh, it's raining. It's cold. Oh. Well, there he is. He's just standing by the heater. <laughs> <laughs> What's he doing? I don't know how to... Can I knock? <laughs> Why is he just... Is he checking out the pictures on the wall? Very intentively? What? <laughs> uh... Austin! It's raining! And I'm cold! <laughs> Let me inside your house, please. <laughs> oh, jeez. Hello? Hey, uh, it's, uh, it hey, started raining, come on man. In. Come in. What, what you up to? Oh, uh, just chilling out. Um, oh, yeah? About to watch some TV, you know? Oh, it's raining nice, now, so nice. I can't do very much. <clears throat> yeah, I, true to, you, you know how it is. I started mowing hay, and I should have looked at the Ford ca forecast. Oh, you even started mowing hay? I started wow. mowing hay. I got a headland yeah. done, and it started to rain, naturally. Oh, no. Dude, we did not get many bales left. Field. We got like eight, six or eight or something like that. Yeah. Yeah, I, I kept three for my horse, so uh, yeah. I just got three stacked, and then it started raining. So I was like, "No, I ain't gonna get the field on mucky." So. Right. Well, yeah, I guess we'll have to wait for this rain to pass, and then we'll get out and yep. get those done. And I want to get, I want to use the new swather that we bought. Yeah, actually, Stevio used it the other day. Oh, uh, did he he? needs to do a bit of mowing himself, so I just let him. Nice. Cool. I hope he liked it. He did. But yeah, we need to get the co-op mode and we need to get the place over there at the ranch mode. And then then we should be good on hay for 
hopefully through the m at least half of winter. Mm -hmm. At least. I think we oh. should be able to make it through winter for hay, but we'll Maybe. see. We will definitely will need to get some straw and other stuff, but salage and stuff, yeah. Right. Um but yeah. Yeah, I just wanted to see if you were doing anything. But uh, if not, I'm going to probably head out and give you a call when the rain stops sometime today, yeah. hopefully. But uh, I don't know. I guess we'll just have to see. All right. Well, I'm going to head out. So All right. I'll, talk I'll, to let you later. I'll talk to you later. Enjoy watching whatever you're watching on TV. <laughs> see ya. See ya. All right. Well, that's going to do it for this episode. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. And, uh, and no, it was, uh, we didn't do a whole lot. And I apologize about that. This, this episode might end up being a little bit shorter. I don't know. But hopefully you guys enjoyed. And until next time, I'll see y'all later.